Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Bard's Tale, shall we? Well, goodness gracious, it's tough out there. I'd like to say I feel safe in the inn, but I'm not. I have a little bit of spell points left, but we need to explore the city and get ourselves stronger. I think I saw on one of the cuts, like the loading screens as I was booting it up, that temples are a place where you can heal. And so I need to find a temple in the town. In fact, um, if I push F2, I'll find the map. And they said I'm on Main Street, and I am go facing east on Main Street. So I need to find Main Street on here. I just don't happen to see um, Main Street unless this is considered. Oh, here it is, Main Street. Okay. And, oh, here's the store, maybe? And, okay. Is this a temple? This looks like a temple down here. It has a, it has a T by it. Oh, look. AG must mean Adventurer's Guild. And this must be um, the weapon ship. So if I actually just go the other way, I'll get to the temple and maybe I can heal. Uh, so that would be tremendous. So let's, uh, let's try to do that. All right, we're going to turn around and I'm going to go this way, which I'll just pretend is south. Uh, and ouch, blocked. Okay, yep. And I'm in an empty building. All right. Well, nothing in there. Okay. Uh, we can go around. I'm on Rack Here Street. Okay, so I'm going to actually open up my map. And I was on Main Street, and this is Rack Here, right here. So, yep, I kind of dead-ended into this. And if I go down again, I should end up at a temple. Empty building. All right. There's a statue. Okay. Um, a statue of a samurai warrior stand st samurai warrior rather. I'm sorry. Stands guarding a gate. Uh, I'm not gonna fight it right now. I'm just gonna leave it here. Here's the temple. Ooh, look at this. Very nice looking. What is this? The the uh, the pantheon here. All right. Um. Oh my. Yep, I definitely feel safe. Welcome to the Temple of the Thieves. No charge to guild members for our services. <laughs> Who needs healing? This is what it's all about. This is why the game is hilarious. It's the Thief Temple, right? So Sir Grady, maybe that's why he's a Sir. Um, the Temple of the Thieves. Oh my goodness. How much does it cost to heal the whole party? Your party requires some minor medical attention if thou... We'll offer 50 gold to the gods. We can attend to all your wounds at once. Yeah, I've got 1,000, 1,100 gold. Um, heal me all. Now we'll see if this does magic points or just health. I'm only down, being perfectly honest, a few health on everybody, but let's just try it. It does. Oh my goodness. Did you hear the chant that they just did? First of all, it restored all of our magic points. Um, it doesn't list that up top. It just says El Cid, Dr. Incompetent, and Marcus are healed. But um, our, our spell points are full. So that's amazing. I'll have to check the bard to see if all the songs are back. But the song, the chant that they sang, uh, was the same that the, the monks in Monty Python and the Holy Grail are saying as they walk through the town and are like, slamming the, their faces into the books that they have. Priceless. Um, I'm, we're going to exit the temple. Now, let me look at... Uh, let's see, Marcus. And songs remaining zero. So I don't know what gets those songs back, but we tried. At least we have our spells back, right? Uh, so let's see. Now we are at the temple... And we're kind of right in this area. This is the statue of the samurai. I don't know what this building is, but let's just look around. They said, they told us to look around. Oh my god. This didn't pay off. You sudden, the sudden scream of battle brings your party to a halt. You face three thieves. Look at that guy's shifty eyes. He's ripped, though. We're going to fight so bravely. Brian the Fist 
has these options this battle round. Um, okay, so Brian the Fist is going to attack. Elsid's going to attack. Um, I'm going to just pop off a ranged shot, and we will attack. I will, uh, I guess, I don't know what party attack means. Like, I want to attack my own party. Uh, I'm going to defend. Maybe if they get charmed or put to sleep or something. In some old games, you would do that. And I will cast a spell, and we will do arc fire to the thieves. And then, um, I don't need a sh spell from Omar. I'm going to save the points. I'm just going to defend. And we're going to see what happens. Whoa. That was interesting. I saw some portraits happening in the battle there. Uh, we, I think we won. I don't know why it showed our characters. Were those for critical hits? Let's see. Um, Sir Grady swings and hits for five. Marcus defends. The thief strikes at Brian but misses. Omar defends. Sir Grady got hit. And then I shot an arrow and killed. Um, El Cid got hit. And then Brian the Fist slashes in 12 and kills. And then El Cid slashes for 7 and kills. So we killed them all. And we get 153 pieces of gold and 38 experience. Okay. I'm actually going to go into this and I'm going to look at... Uh, we are at 1226 experience out of 2000 to get up a level. Okay. Cool. Um, it's an empty building, so let's just exit, and let's see. Uh, we've looked in there. I think what goes on is it, you see how on the minimap, there's a shaded square here. I think that's indicating to me that I've searched the room. Oh boy, the denizens of this mystic place assault you without warning. You see one hobgoblin. Yeah, there he is. Um, looking good. This, uh, by the way, this frame was the style of many, many games uh, growing up where they would put your character information here. They would put a, f a frame of a kind of pseudo 3D first-person perspective of a, uh, of a map, of a world. And as these became more sophisticated, the frames themselves started to have more functionality. So, for example, in Might and Magic, this skull would... Uh, it was it looked different, but it would open and close to indicate monsters were nearby. I'm going to have to keep my eye on this skull to see if it's purely decorative or if it has some kind of purpose to alert us of danger or something. Let's fight, and we're just going to attack with everybody. I'm not going to uh, ranged attack. I'm just going to defend with the back row, and yep, this is it. And uh, we hit him before he hit us. Brian just crushed him. And we got 12 points of experience and 94 pieces of gold. All right, so let's go in here. Searching the room, you discover some parchment from the Adventurer's Guild Handbook. It reads, manage your spell points carefully. Don't waste a spell if you can accomplish the same thing without magic. Torches, for example, often work as well as magic light spells. On the other hand, don't be shy about using magic in combat. When in doubt, blast them with magic. Yeah, that's my strategy. I blast them. And it's empty. Okay. Uh, all right, those were all empty. Um, I'm not yet going to go heal, but I love to know that that's there. I'm going to search everything. Exit. And we'll just kind of try to level up. Ooh, look at this guy. Your sword is a little short, um, but your eyes are glowing terrifyingly. I don't know why your chest cavity also glows. That's, that's beyond belief. Um, fight bravely. Attack, 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 attack. Defend, defend, defend. Do it. All right. So we hit it. It did not hit us. And we got a little gold and experience. All right, perfect. That's what I like. Just a little bit of money. This is five hobgoblins. So this is a tough fight. So we're going to fight. And we'll go attack, attack. I'm going to shoot. And we will attack. And now we can... I wish I could sing. I just don't have anything. Uh, we'll defend. And I'm going to cast a spell. We'll do uh, Arc Fire for sure on the Hobgoblins. And then we're going to cast a spell here. And I'll just do Quick Fix on uh, El Cid. 
Yes. Ouch. Kind of got hit a little bit there. My goodness. Okay, so now we're... There, we've killed two of them. And some of them should be really, really weak. We just weren't able to... Target the one that... The same one, you know? This is the difficult part of this game, is that you don't get to pick which target you're hitting. It's just a group, and your people do damage, and you pray that they're doing it to the, you know, focus firing, but they just aren't. So you have to really plan for that. All right, we're going to fight, and we'll just attack. And at this point, I don't need to fire a shot. I'm going to attack, 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 and we'll defend. I will cast uh, this spell just to help out. And then um, we're going to cast a quick fix on uh, Dr. Incompetent and say, yep. Got him. We healed two. Uh, and that was amazing. I mean, we didn't get that much experience, 64, but we got 670 pieces of gold, which is just a delight. So we could easily heal up to full if we needed it, but I don't feel that we do at the moment. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Spell points just recover over time. It, it's pulsing up over time. That's amazing. You search the room for anything useful. The party finds a staff. Okay, cool. I'm actually going to go into Dr. Incompetence inventory, and I think I can equip this staff. Uh, just... Um... Oops, inventory. I think I can equip this. And I still have my bow equipped, but this will just give me some extra damage um, in in melee combat. It's free. Hey, there he is. Attack, attack. I'll get my mouse out of the way here. And we will attack, attack, defend, defend, defend. Yes. This guy should be easy. Oh, he stabbed us, though. He hit us for five. That was not kind. All right. I'm going to have uh, Omar. Spell list. Um, quick fix. Cannot cast any spells. All right. We got to exit the building. Now we can cast some spells. Um, C, cast a spell. Omar, quick fix on Dr. Incompetent. Let's get healed up here. All right. And let's just keep exploring. There is a scrap of parchment from the guild handbook. It reads, avoid traps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've already seen that clue. That's fine. Empty. It's nice, though. I mean, yeah, look, we just found a mace, actually. So um, let me go into uh, this inventory screen. Oh, where'd that mace go? I didn't pick it up. Look at that. It's over here. Why can't Dr. Incompetent see it? Oh, I see. I had to scroll down. Okay. Um, it seems the same as the staff. So, no difference that I can tell. Empty. Alright. No, that's good. Empty. Three orcs. Let's do this. Attack. Attack. Uh, we will just attack now. Attack, defend, cast, arc fire, and does anybody need healing? Not terribly. On the orcs, and then just defend. Yep. They really pick on Dr. Incompetent, but that's okay. Attack, 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 attack. Um, defend, cast this on the orcs, and then cast... Uh, quick fix on number three. Yep. Boom. Cleaned him out. We're getting a lot of money. And a decent amount of experience. Like, if I look at my our experience, we... You know, we need 629 to, to level up. But that's... It's not bad. We can get there. And we made it back 
more options. All right, let's go ahead and save the game. Okay, well, I am back from saving the game, and I actually did take a little bit of a pause um, in between sessions here, and what I want to iterate is I was reading some of the comments on the first video, and I just want to say thank you so much, everyone. Um, I was told that, number one, I want to clear out my seventh slot, and number two, how I can actually get the bard to be able to sing again. He needs a drink. His throat is parched. So I got to get some booze or something of the like. So we're going to remove a member from the party and it's indeed going to be me. I'm just going to take myself out of the starting party because, you know, they built this party um, as the default party with I, my hope is the intention of being able to handle most of the game's systems. Traps, um, combat, and the like. So this will put Marcus, um, our bard, back up onto the front lines, but that's okay. He has a reasonable armor class, uh, and so our two casters can be in the back. Now, I want to see if... Um... No. I was hoping he had some money, but he's just still, still going on about Mangar here. I mean, not, I'm sorry, not money, something to drink. Like, I could buy stuff from him, but this isn't the right place for that. So, let me uh, venture over here, and let's just kind of check in all these buildings. I'm going to empty this entire world of stuff. You know, I'm going to go in all the different places that I can and explore. Uh, this is... Oh, right, right, right. It's marked on the map as, like, there's parchment here, or what have you. I'm on Main Street. Here's the adventures. I've gone in a circle. I'm embarrassing myself and everyone here. Um, this is the place where you can heal, right? And um, our party is at full health. So we're pretty good there. The no charge to guild members for our services. Does that mean like um, yeah, they actually heal Sir Grady. Oh, I don't know what I was talking about. We're not at full health. I, I completely overlooked the fact that Sir Grady is hurt, but because he's a thief, he just gets fully healed by these thieving priests. And then Brian the Fist is down a little bit. It'll cost 20 gold to heal him, but that's fine. Whatever. We got it. Alright, we're going to exit the temple. And from here, uh... I'm not going to mess with this. I'm going to leave it. Oh, but if you leave it, you can't move beyond it. So I'm not going to fight that statue right now. I think that that statue is beyond my capabilities. Um, oh, this is where you can find the credits for the game. That's hilarious. Chrome Studios, thank you so much for all of your work on this. All right. Okay, and let's see. Ouch. And what's in here? Well, it's death itself. Um, okay, fight bravely. All right, let's go. Attack. 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 And yeah, cast that spell. Give him the arc fire on the thieves. And we'll just defend, and that's fine. Oh, no. Wow. Well, we got... I mean, Brian got hit really hard. A thief hit him for six. A thief hit him for six. Man. Sir Grady started out good killing somebody. Brian got hit for six. El Cid hit for two, which is terrifying. Um... Yeah, Brian just got hit for 12. That's just basically all there is to it. Fight bravely. Attack, 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 attack. Defend. You can cast, you know, quick fix on on Brian, and that's fine. Okay, good. So we killed the thief. I like how it plays itself out after this and allows us to get that quick fix on for Brian the Fist. That's a lot of gold. 
That's terrific. Exit the building. All right, we're just going to keep trying to explore every every little nook and cranny that we can. Dear God, what have I done? All right, let's see how this goes. Fight, attack, attack, attack. And we will attack, and we're going to cast a spell, which is Arc Fire on the Hobbits. And then we need a spell here, which would be... Uh, I guess just, you know, let's do Vorpal Plating uh, on El Cid to try to get some more damage here. All right, so we killed three of the hobbits. God, that sinister, shifty eyebrows. I mean, this is like a... A grandfather hobbit. This guy is celebrating his 111th birthday uh, with a with a knife. Now let's see what happened here. Sir Grady immediately just flies in there and kills one of the hobbits. It's it's hobbit on hobbit violence right there. What can you do? Brian the Fist swings at a hobbit and hits for 12 and kills him. So there was like two hobbits dead. The two hobbits missed. Arc fire hit for six. Um, and then Marcus punches and hits for one. We need to get Marcus a weapon. And then El Cid hits for four. Even with the Vorpal Fist, he only hit for four. That's not very good, but everybody just attack and defend, defend. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so it looks like... Uh, we, we won? No. Why is it showing El Cid? Uh, are they still there? Yeah, they're still one. Alright, well. El Cid got hit for one, I guess is what they're telling me. That's not, not a problem. Hit, hit, hit. Attack, defend, defend. Yes. Good job, Sir Grady. There it is. Look at all that treasure. There's a scrap of parchment here. It says there's dungeons deep underneath Scarabray, sewers, catacombs, the castle, and more, each more dangerous than the one before. All right, well, fantastic news. Uh, let me look at Marcus really fast and just go into your inventory. What are you using? Yeah, you don't have a weapon. It's an unidentified special instrument called the fire horn. Um, we need... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you use this mace for the love of God? There it is. Okay, good. All right, that helped out a lot. Um, hi, right, buddy. Uh, we need Marcus to check out your wares. Can we identify... You have no items that need identifying. Try Roscoe's Energy Emporium if you have some magical items with unidentified special uses. That's where we need to go. Roscoe. Um, all right, we need to buy an item. And what I'm looking for here would be something that's stronger. All right, this is Marcus, right? And this would help Marcus defensively by one. And I can't remember if he already has a helmet on. I think he does. And does he have gloves on? Does he have a tower shield? I don't know. The bard can use one. All right, let's buy one. And then I'm going to buy this uh, scale mail. Yep. Okay, great. And then... Um, view inventory for Marcus. Can you throw on... You have the helmet, but you don't have gloves. So let's get him gloves. Put on this. And then can you use this? He can't use it. Is it because the weapon is in the offhand? No, he does have gloves. Never mind, I lied about that. Um, I guess this slot instrument, slot helm, slot gloves, slot weapon. Um, why can't he equip this? 
Oh no, he has one. Never mind. I, I'm I'm not seeing that. Okay, so he's down to two armor class. Okay, great. That's why he can't equip it. He already has one. All right, let's go to Sir Grady. What do you have? You can use a helm, I'm sure, right? Um, you have a tower shield. You have a tower shield. Okay. Um, let me go back to uh, buy an item for Sir Grady. And I'm fine with you using a dagger if that's necessary. But uh, can you use a, a helm and, and gloves? He has that. Okay, but he doesn't have that. Purchased and equipped. Fantastic. Um, he already has that. Okay. And let me just go over here. Yeah, this looks good. Brian, do you have everything that you could dream of here? He's got plate. He has that. He has that. It's the same. He's got that. Okay, uh, let me go over to Merlin. Merlin, can you improve yourself in any... He has a dagger at the moment. And he has robes. And he can't... He can wear these, though. And then, what about... Um, no shield, no arrows. Okay, Omar. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, there you go. Well, that's at least something, right? All right. Uh, sell an item. Sell some of this chainmail. And that. Sell it all. Get it out of here. Great. All right, what's in here? Hey, we found a mace. Well, that's the kind of good day that we need. Exit the building. Nothing in there. All right, let's look over here. We're in an alleyway. This is suspicious. We found a buckler. Oh, God. Exit. Hey, there he is. Fight. All right. Attack, 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 attack. Defend, defend. Yep. <laughs> Brian wrecked him. All right. Oh. The sudden scream of battle brings your party to a halt. You face five kobolds. We do face five kobolds, and these are... Possibly some of the worst-looking things I've ever seen. I guess that's chain mail it's wearing. For a moment, I thought I had a, a lace bib on its chest, but no, it's its armor. My goodness, your appearance is unfavorable. Let's go ahead and fight this. Attack, 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 and then we're going to cast a spell, which is arc fire on these guys. And then we'll cast another spell, which uh, we're going to use Vorpal Plating on Marcus. Yes. Okay, so we killed a bunch of them. No, oh, we killed them all. We killed them all. 700 gold, 50 experience, and some arrows. All right, exit. I do want to check. How are we doing experience-wise? Well, we need a lot, but... That's okay. Chain mail. Well, we're making money. If anything. A buckler. We're getting rich. We're getting a full inventory. Chain mail. Wait, what did that say? Here it is. Be prepared to die a lot with level 1 and level 2 characters, especially at night. Especially when you don't have any weapons and are just walking to Garth's shop. It might even be a good idea to stay close to a temple at night. So you can quickly heal any wounds. Good point. I didn't even notice that time of day was passing. Oh, it's conjurers. This doesn't look like it's going to go well. Attack, 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 attack. Cast some spell on your fellow conjurers. And, um, yeah, we'll cast, uh, you know, Vorpal Plating on... Uh... Oops. Cast uh, Vorpal Plating on Marcus, please. This looks great. I think we killed them. We did well. We hit them before they could hit us. It's a good trick. 
I'm proud of it. All right. Uh, we are on Main Street. Still not doing great. We're up here in this area. Um, is this to inn? Let's go around the corner and see if we can get to the inn. And at the very least, it, at the inn, we can maybe buy the bar to drink. Nomads. Well, uh, I see you guys move from place to place. That's what keeps you in such amazing shape. You're looking good. Don't let them tell you otherwise. All right. And cast that on them, and you can just defend. These guys hit hard. They're still there. This has gotten a lot spicier than I wanted it to. All right, we're going to try the quick fix. Uh, let's see, who's the most hurt? Sir Grady looks nearly dead. Brian is hurt, but he's got better armor class, so let's just try to help Sir Grady. All right, we got him. Goodness gracious, exit. Um, cast a spell. Omar, um, can you cast me... Uh, quick fix on Brian. And then can you cast Omar quick fix on, I guess, Marcus? All right, very good. And we're still going to try to make it to the, uh, to the inn. You're on Blacksmith Street. I, I swear I saw it. Yeah, this is it right here. Well, it's not an inn. It's a bar. The Dragon's Grog. Hail, traveler. Step to the bar, and I'll draw you a tankard. Who will step to the bar? Get the bard there. Number four. You can um, order a drink, and what'll it be? Get yourself some mead. Not bad. You start hiccuping. Um, buy a wineskin. I can give you a wineskin. It's five gold. It's per serve, and it can hold up to ten. How many do you want? Um, how about five? Okay. Uh, talk to the barkeep. Talk ain't cheap. How much will you tip him? Here's ten. Look for the review board on Trumpet Street, the barkeep whispers. All right. Thanks. Hmm. Does this heal you if you drink here? Omar... Um, order a drink for, no, no, I want, um, can I switch to Omar? No, nah, I guess you can't. Oh, here we go. Sick Omar has to go up there, order a drink, get some ale, not bad. It doesn't do that for you. Okay, it doesn't restore your stuff. Oh, here's the magic shop, right? Oh, this is the review board. Maybe. Wouldst thou like to be reviewed for advancement? I got kicked out. Oh, they're closed at night. Oh my god, it's night. Oh no. This isn't good. Right, we gotta get out of here. Wait, where are we? Empty building, huh? Oh, we're behind the pub. Yeah, we need to run away. Let's try to get back to the temple, like they said. We don't want to get just absolutely obliterated while we're waiting for the day to come. Hmm. Okay. And, yep, look at this. Uh, four magicians and two jade monks. Now, it says 24. What does that mean? 20 feet? Like they're 20 feet away? I'm just attacking the magicians. I don't know. Um, we can use a bard song though, right? Uh, heal the party's wounds. Increases our damage. Yeah, this looks good. Protection against spells. Cast Arc Fire on the Magicians. And then cast 
Um, Vorpal plating on El Cid. Yes. Uh, wait a minute. We've been made old? Is that what happened? Uh, what happened? Why are we old? I don't understand what's going on. It doesn't seem good. We're going to fight, attack the magicians. Um, can I see your status? Can you explain this to me? All right, anyway, attack the foes, the magicians, attack the magicians, attack the magicians, and cast some fire on the magicians. And I don't know how to read their hit points, but Marcus looks hurt, so I'm going to cast Quick Fix on Marcus. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, I cast it on Mark. Oh, I did cast it on Marcus, but Sir Grady is dead. I think these Jade Monks are what's killing us. So attack, attack. Um... Attack, cast Arc Fire on the Jade Monks, and then cast. Uh, oh, you have, you're out of spell points. Okay. Uh, I guess just defend. Alright, we killed one of them. No, we killed them all. 512 experience. Okay, so let's see if. Can you resurrect this guy? They can. Oh, and because he's a thief, he didn't die. Or, I mean, um, he's free. So, number one, we can resurrect people, which is tremendous. And number two, uh, he got... A thief is free. Heal the entire party. Um, yeah, we'll pay it. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, make us not old. We're cured of withering. That's what it was. We got withered. And this, I'm assuming this arrow means everyone is ready for a level up except Sir Grady, who was dead at the time of receiving experience. Uh, and so that happens, but that's okay. We're going to exit the temple. We're going to kind of reorganize this. Yes, exactly, just like that. Actually, we might actually want to put Marcus up in front um, because even though Sir Grady has more hit points, his armor class is a little bit dodgier. And let me get back here. Wow, that was interesting. I mean, we got a lot of experience for that. Well, that was exciting. Uh, we we leveled up everybody except for Sir Grady, and I need to get to the review board to level people up. We have the best equipment that, that, we, that we can get at the moment, I believe, and we now have a wineskin so that we can get um, Marcus back his bard songs when we're looking for them. And they run out he, when he loses his voice or whatever. And I have to tell you what, this nighttime is a terrifying experience. I'm getting knocked around. It's a lot of experience. It's like ten times the experience that we were getting in the day. But it's also just uh, killing our party members. So it's a dicey gamble. But anyway, uh, I am having a blast playing this game. I want to say thank you for your comments, for helping me understand some of the things. And I look forward to getting into it more. Everyone, thanks for watching. Take care.